So I just got the thumbs up from Steve to go ahead and um, start off. Um, I want to start by introducing myself. I am Rick Gallego. I am a regional vice president with AMS Financial Solutions. Um, <clears throat> AMS is a platinum provider and broker with WFD. As a matter of fact, we've been working with WFT for over 15 years, so a long history. The, um, so we're, as I said, we're a broker, so we're bringing in different companies, products, or programs, and um, we're, today we're gonna be talking about Symmetra. Now, Symmetra has been available through the WFT platform for over 10 months now, and it has exploded. Thank you, WFT. Uh, for embracing Symmetra. Um, Symmetra has a fantastic foreign national program, and I will be touching on that at the end of the PowerPoint, the presentation, but really the focus of this uh, training is on Symmetra and how their products and programs apply to the domestic, the U.S. citizen uh, market. So let's go ahead and uh, start this off. Now, if uh, somebody were to say, Rick, I have not heard of Symmetra before, I would say, yeah, that's okay. They're, they're not a household, <clears throat> excuse me, they are not a household name yet, but I'm going to say this, with everything that they're doing with product, programs, underwriting, community involvement, uh, they're going to get there. They're on the fast track for that. But regardless, they are a very solid company. They are based in Bellevue, Washington. They have been in business for over 60 years, and uh, they themselves have over $49 billion in assets. Uh, it is important to know that although they are a U.S. stock company, um, Sumitomo Life owns Symmetra. They own 100% of the stock, so there's no uh, buying, selling, or trading. Uh, and, and together, Sumitomo and Symmetra have over $330 billion in assets. So financially speaking, in regards to assets, very strong. Um, and they are top rated. So we can see here, uh, they're, they're rated by the top four ratings companies with everything from good to excellent. And it's, um, it's interesting to know that not all carriers want to be rated by the top four ratings companies because that does have a tendency to bring down their score. Symmetra obviously has no uh, issue or concern about that. They are being rated by all four of the top ratings companies. So they also are very conservative. We see here from this pie chart, uh, their investment portfolio, the majority is in fixed maturities, but not just fixed maturities, but uh, investment grade fixed maturities. Now, when somebody says investment grade, um, that means that the companies that you are investing in have to meet a minimum requirement of stability and ratings. So we see here that uh, Symmetra also very stable by virtue of what they're investing in. Um, this is interesting. This is going to give us a perspective as to where Symmetra is at. This is the top five U.S. publicly traded life insurance companies. Now, we all know Prudential. We all know MetLife, Lincoln, Principal, AXA. Hello, your new best friend, Symmetra Sumitomo. Uh, so we see Prudential uh, leading the pack at $832 billion in assets, uh, followed by MetLife at $720 billion, and then Symmetra at $339 billion in assets, and then Lincoln, Principal, AXA, I think it's interesting that sometimes we feel we know who uh, all the top players are in our industry, but every once in a while, a giant pops its head up and says, hey, here I am. So we see that Symmetra is in very good company. Uh, this is sales. This is money coming in the door. Uh, the green represents IUL and UL sales. The blue represents term. So obviously they have a focus on IUL and UL uh, sales. Now, if I were to come over here to the far left, and I had wrote in 2004, well, that's the year that Warren Buffett bought Symmetra. So Warren Buffett buys Symmetra in 2004, and he tells himself, I'm going to take this company public. 
he starts to do that in 2007, 2008. Was that a good time to do that? No, it was not a good time for anything financially speaking. So he keeps his head down, keeps moving forward. He takes the company public in 2012. So in t then we see the, the strong, steady growth here. And then in 2015, that's when Sumitomo bought Symmetra from Warren Buffett. And as you can see, they continued that strong growth, um, that trajectory of growth. Uh, let me share with you that for 2019, they surpassed their sales goal at $107 million. So we're going to be talking about uh, Symmetra's products, uh, their programs. The headline for the products is they have two IULs, an accumulator and protector IUL. They have universal life with guaranteed death benefit and very competitively priced term. So let's go ahead and uh, start off with the accumulator product. So if somebody would ask, Rick, what are the key advantages, the strengths? I would say absolutely competitive cash value. Uh, most definitely low cost of insurance, and you'll see that in a bit. Um, and they have bonuses that are absolutely 100% guaranteed to be paid to the client. It sounds funny for me to say that, but uh, there are some carriers that add on bonuses, but the client may or may not get them. Uh, with these bonuses, they are 100% guaranteed to be paid to the client, and they have some really nice riders that we'll take a look at. Uh, this is nice here. Look at this. A 20-year no-lapse guarantee for an accumulator type IUL. I mean, we're, we're used to seeing no lap guarantees, right? But this is an accumulator IUL, so that's kind of different. That's kind of um, unique and strong. And that's at no additional cost, by the way. So 20 year no laps at uh, no additional cost. Um, let's take a look at the investment options. Very simple, very streamlined. Um, you're not getting your clients into paralysis from over-analysis. Uh, it's S&P 500, an exchange-traded fund from J.P. Morgan, and basically that's it. Uh, there's also a 50-50 blend of the two. Now, when you see the blend, that's a two-year point-to-point. Uh, the policy will not be credited until the end of 24 months. When you see the S&P 500 and J.P. Morgan ETF options, those are one-year point-to-points. So um, they're going to be credited at the end of 12 months. And uh, there are, there we go. I was waiting for the slide. Uh, and uh, there are three ways that the client can put their money into the IULs. There's a base, core, and select. So with the base, it's more conservative. The client is getting lower caps and rates, but they're getting a 50 basis points bonus paid every year guaranteed starting year one. So again, base, lower cap and rate, but you're getting a one half percent bonus at the end of every year, guaranteed. Uh, core, it, it refers to more of the mid-range uh, approach. Here, the client is getting higher caps and rates, no bonus because the cap and rates are higher. Uh, and then there's a more aggressive approach, the select. Here, the client is paying 50 basis points every year to access the highest caps and rates. So let's go ahead and take a look at these strategies individually. As I mentioned, uh, base uh, is more on the conservative side. These investment options will never change. And uh, we can see here that uh, we're illustrating at 5.41%. So let's take a look at a comparison here. This is uh, a client, 45 years male, uh, preferred non-smoker doing a 20 pay um, of 25,000 a year. 45 year male non-smoker uh, non preferred 20 pay of 25,000 a year. Here are the companies, of course, in question. Maximum distribution refers to the amount that the client should be able to get uh, from age 65 to 85. So remember, they're doing a 20 pay from age 45 to 65. This should be the amount that they can get each year from age 65 to 85. Right off the bat, we see Symmetra not at the very top for maximum distribution. But you know what? Let's put a pin in that. I'm going to put a pin in that and come back to it later because there's definitely a story to tell here. Uh, death benefit, uh, to make it a level playing field for everyone, 
reruns with minimum death benefit, increasing face amount to maximize the cash value. That's uh, the general formula for that. Cash value is self-explanatory. Target, we know what that is. That's what we get paid on. Look at this. Cost of insurance for Symmetra, $74,000 uh, versus 233, 422, 216, 383. Symmetra asks, do we have control over the negative volatility in the markets? The answer is a big no. What's going to happen is going to happen. But can we control the cost of insurance to the clients? Yes. That's something that we can control. So you're going to see that the blueprint for Symmetra products is that they're going to typically have a lower cost of insurance in the industry a lot of times by far. And we know that when you have a lower cost of insurance, that's going to result in higher cash value because in those years that the products are getting a zero return from the markets, a minimal return, uh, less of a burden on the cash value is going to result in a more competitive cash value and honestly, a more sustainable product. Let's also talk about the core strategy. Remember that's the mid-range. Um, we see here that we're illustrating at 6.39% uh, and of course, the investment options remain the same. Let's take a look at that same client, 45 year male, preferred non-smoker, 20 pay. Uh, again, we see that Symmetra, very low in the cost of insurance in comparison to its competitors, 74,000 versus 697 versus 225, 130, 559. Let's go back to that pen. Let's go back to that pen and, and uh, take it out because, uh, as I said, it seems Symmetra on the surface not paying uh, the highest. But Symmetra took these, these products, these uh, carriers, and put it against a stress test. And that means that they put it up against realistic market conditions and returns. Some years you get a zero, some years you get a 5%, some years you get a, a 13%, so on. Guess what? Under realistic market conditions, Symmetra ended up paying more than everyone else because of this, because of the low cost of insurance. Because remember, when we illustrate a product, let's say at 7%, does that mean, does that guarantee that the product is going to receive 7% a year? No, that's just the way we're running it. But when we stress test it against realistic market conditions, having that lower cost of insurance is what's gonna be uh, making the policy more sustainable during those, those main lean years. So Symmetra ended up paying more than everyone else because of their low cost of insurance. Um, let's also take a look at the select strategy uh, here we see that we are illustrating at 7.25%. Uh, Remember the client is paying 50 basis points a year to access the highest caps and rates. Let's go back to our same client, 45 year male. Uh, here we see Symmetra, uh, their cost of insurance has increased from 74,000 to 112 because remember uh, the client is paying uh, uh, 50 basis points a year to access the highest caps and rates, but still, a, a, a far cry from 697, from 225, 135, 59. Agents always ask, Rick, why is Symmetra so low in cost of insurance? There's a few things happening. I'd like to point out the fact that, as I showed you earlier, Symmetra is very conservative. Uh, they're invested in a lot of fixed maturities. That means that they know how much money they're gonna get in the door for X number of years, 10, 20, 25 years out. Knowing that, you can do some nice long-term planning, including planning around the cost of insurance. But I also like to point out, it is so much matter of Symmetra being lower or that others are simply a little more expensive. Uh, we know that there are carriers that add on bonuses. They charge the client additional for those bonuses that they may or may not get, but still, they use those bonuses to be able to inflate the cash value numbers. But as I've also shared, when you stress test that against realistic conditions and returns, uh, that starts to collapse because of the cost of insurance. So again, when we have a lower cost of insurance, that's a huge cornerstone 
in having a more sustainable product. Uh, let's also take a look at the caps and participation rates as I shared earlier, base is conservative, four is mid-range, select, aggressive. When I was doing the training with the Metron, they said, Rick, if you want to get the most consistent return for your client, what you do is put 100% of the premium in the two-year blend in the core strategy. Let's see what we get. Uh, S&P 500, no cap, 100% participation rate. The ETF from JP Morgan, no cap, 165% participation. Uh, this is a good time to let you know that there are no spreads, there are no margins. Those rates are what's going to be applied. Um, I'll tell you this, I always use some of the select though because this is too good to pass up. Let's take a look. Uh, the two-year blend, S&P 500, no cap, 110% participation. The ETF, no cap, 180% participation rate. Um, agents do ask, Rick, that's a pretty healthy, rich participation rate. And I say, yes, it is. Um, but I'd like to be transparent. The S&P 500 gives us spikes. It gives us uh, every now and then some pretty high returns, right? Uh, the ETF from JP Morgan is very, very consistent in giving an annual average return of five to six and a half percent, five to six and a half percent. But when you apply a 180% participation rate, now we're talking about 10 to 12 percent. So, you know, uh, the ETF, very consistent, and with these participation rates, a pretty nice return. Uh, the Efficiente 5 is the name of the ETF from J.P. Morgan. I want to say that Symmetra has exclusive rights to this ETF. It's been around for over 10 years, and uh, it's made up of 12 asset classes plus cash. This is some information that's pretty interesting, and um, it's, it's, bio, it's, it's readily available to you. All you got to do is look it up. Every 10 years, the S&P 500 gives us seven years of returns, three years of zero return. For those very same 10 years, the ETF from J.P. Morgan is going to give us nine years of return, one year of zero. And that's why they say be sure to use the blends. Or if you're not going to use the blends, uh, just be sure to use them separately, but use them both because they work so well together. They complement each other. So here's a breakdown or a, an overview of the uh, ETF from J.P. Morgan. As I said, 12 asset classes uh, plus cash. The green boxes that you see over to the left, those are portfolios. So these asset classes spill in and make up the portfolios. There's five of them. Each of them have a very distinct goal and focus in investment. One's conservative, the other's aggressive, emerging markets. This is important to know. J.P. Morgan has a supercomputer in New York City that tracks the performance of these five portfolios. At the end of every month, that supercomputer picks the best performing portfolio to use for applying towards the policy. Remember how I said they're very, very consistent with that return? That's why they have a supercomputer on their payroll. We should all get a supercomputer. Um, let's talk about some of the bonuses. So uh, I want to start by saying that these products have a 0% floor. That's the way they're built. 0% uh, floor, the client is not losing a penny. But technically, these products have a guaranteed minimum 2% floor. Here's why. Symmetra has something that's called the eight-year look-back guarantee. So every eight years, Symmetra looks back. And if the client, in total, over those eight years, did not get at least 2% per year, Symmetra is going to pay the difference. So this is no additional cost to the client. This is guaranteed and just a part of the product. Uh, you don't have to check off the box. You have to worry about, oh, did I get that in there? It's just a part of the product. So it's pretty nice to be able to tell clients that a product has a 0% floor. I think it's nicer to say 2% guaranteed minimum. Uh, there's also a multiplier bonus that they call a persistency bonus. It starts at policy year 11, 
and goes on every year for as long as that policy exists. What it does is it gives the client a 15% multiplier, which boils down to 1.15%. So for example, as we see here in the middle of the slide, uh, at the end of policy year 11, let's say the policy gets a return of 10%. Well, hold on, let's add on the multiplier bonus. That becomes 11 and a half. So because of that multiplier bonus, the 10 becomes 11 and a half. The client will always be getting that 1.15% additional multiplier at the end of every year, starting policy year 11. Again, no additional cost, guaranteed just a part of the product. There are loans available, of course, on these products. Uh, traditional loans, for the first 10 years, we're charging 25 basis points. That is very competitive. Uh, we're charging 4.25 and crediting four, so it's a wash of 25 basis points. After the first 10 years, it's zero, it's free to borrow because we're crediting the full 4.25%. There are also participating loans that we are charging 5.5% at a maximum flat rate. Now, someone might say, Rick, why in the world would I want to be charged 5.5 when I can get a loan for either 25 basis points or free? Well, here's why. Uh, when you borrow money as a participating loan, yes, we are charging you 5.5 maximum flat rate, but the money you borrowed and already had in your hands is still showing up in the index accounts of the policy, earning the full potential return of the policy. It is participating in the earnings of the policy. That's why it's called a participating loan. So for example, let's say you borrow out $30,000. We're charging you five and a half. But let's say at the end of that year, the policy gets a return of 10%. Not, not a crazy high number. Uh, well, the policy made 10%. So now that 10% is going to wash out the five and a half that we're charging. And the 30000 makes four and a half percent. This is a phenomenal way to be able to leverage with a product that's growing the money, tax deferred and available tax free. Of course, not everyone's cup of tea because I'll be transparent about this. If the policy gets less than a five and a half percent return, then of course the client has to pay some or all of that five and a half percent. But for clients that are uh, successful, wealthy, business-oriented, investment-oriented, they're familiar with leverage and, you know, the idea, the concept of using someone else's money to make money. You're actually having your money work in two different places at the same time. So let's talk about some writers, uh, starting with the chronic illness writer. Uh, this is no additional cost. This just comes with the product. You don't have to check anything off. If your client not for two of the six activities of daily living, they can access 50% of the death benefit up to a maximum lump sum of $500,000. Yeah, I said lump sum. That's pretty unique for a chronic illness writer. So this is uh, indemnity, chronic illness, which means you do not have to pay for the expenses first, uh, collect the receipts and show it to the company. This is indemnity. You just ask for whatever amount, and that is the amount you will receive, and you can ask for that lump sum if you want. Terminal illness rider, we know that one. Uh, if the client has 12 months or less to live, they can access the death benefit, again, up to 500000 uh, These policies will not lapse unless the client wants them to um, because of this overload lapse protection rider at no additional cost. So um, the very first month that an outstanding loan starts to match the cash value, Symmetra will reach out to the client and let them know, hey, uh, your outstanding loan is matching your cash value. That's not a good thing. Would you like us to do a reduced paid up? And if the client says yes, then Symmetra will reduce the face amount to the point that the loan is no longer there. You get rid of the loan and no further premium payments are needed. So two great things happen here for the client. Um, first of all, they avoid a taxable event because the policy does not lapse. Secondly, the family retains some coverage because the policy did not lapse. I love that writer. Uh, charitable giving writer, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. 
supplemental protection rider just means that you can blend term into the premium to bring down the pricing and you could do up to an 80 percent term blend um surrender value enhancement rider just means that you can reduce the surrender charge so that in the beginning years of the policy you get more of a return on the cash value for the premium you're paying in there this is mostly used for business planning or premium finance which by the way we do a uh, premium deposit account i will talk about in a minute um there is an option for the beneficiary to receive the full death benefit plus return of premium. Uh, obviously, that's a more expensive premium. And of course, we do offer dollar cost averaging. Uh, this, this rider is great. It's called the charitable giving rider, and it's no cost. And it allows the client to choose a US-based charity of their choice to give the equal of 1% of their death benefit to. Let me give you an example. Let's say I get three million of coverage on myself. And I say, I'm gonna add this rider on, why not, it's free. So many, 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 many years later, I pass away. Uh, my family is gonna receive the full three million. The charity that I chose is gonna get $30,000 for re you can do this up to a maximum of $100,000. So in other words, if somebody gets a $10 million policy, they add this rider on free. Uh, at death, the family gets the full 10 million, the charity gets $100,000 on Symmetra. So this is a great conversation for individuals that are already charitably inclined or individuals that want to become charitable at no cost. There's also uh, something called the premium deposit account. Uh, sometimes we run into clients that are sitting on a stack of cash because they just sold off a property, an asset, or they inherited money, or one of the above. Um, this uh, account is, is pretty neat because if you run into that client and they tell you, yes, I am interested in buying life insurance, but I don't want to make premium payments. I just want to pay it all at once. And uh, you have to explain to them that, well, with life insurance, if you put too much money into it too soon, that creates a modified endowment contract. In other words, the cash value loses its tax advantage. Well, this account helps us get around that. This account will accept up to $1 million single pay. Uh, and what you do internally is spread out those payments anywhere between two to 10 years, whatever serves the client best. Uh, and by doing that, by spreading it out internally, we're able to avoid a modified endowment contract. The, the money remains uh, tax-free. So while the money is in the account, uh, it's earning 2%. It's important to let the client know that the earnings on the 2% uh, will be taxable. Now, sometimes, Excuse me. Sometimes the client or the the agent will say, "Well, Rick, you know, it's just it's just two percent, and they're getting taxed on the earnings. They kind of poo poo it." But here's the thing: they're missing the point. The whole juice of this story is that you are additionally funding the policy with an extra two percent. That two percent is going into a vehicle uh, in which the money is growing on a compound interest growth is growing tax deferred and is available tax free. That's the real story. I've done a ton of these, they look great. So this is a very convenient way for individuals to be able to pay lump sum or if they have, you know, I'm saying a million dollars, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I've seen cases where somebody puts in 20,000, 30,000 and make uh, premium payments right alongside. It's just a nice extra boost. Uh, Symmetra also has a protector IUL. We're familiar with this type of product. It has more of a focus on the death benefit, not as much on the cash value. Uh, I will say that the premiums are competitively priced for the protector IUL. Uh, they maintain a low cost of insurance and the bonuses and riders I talked about still apply. Look at this though, look at that. A 40 year, no lapse guarantee up to age 90 at no additional cost. I know that this is a product that's more focused on death benefit, but even for a protector type product, 
that's pretty strong and unique. A 40-year no lapse guarantee up to age 90 at no additional cost. So we just finished talking about the accumulator. Maybe it's better asked, what's the same with the protector? So the investment options are the same, S&P 500, JP Morgan 50-50 blend. The uh, allocation strategies are the same, base, core, select. You will notice that the illustration rates are lower, and that's to be expected. This is not a cash value driven product. Um, remember the uh, guaranteed minimum 2% floor? The protector has it too. It has a guaranteed minimum 2% floor as well. Uh, and remember the multiplier bonus that starts at plus 011? The protector also has it, but it's a higher bonus. Remember the accumulator was 1.15. We see here that the bonus with the protector is 1.30, so that's nice. Uh, here's some caps. Here are the caps and rates for the protector product. Uh, of course, you're going to see that they're lower uh, because, again, this is not a cash value driven product. For example, where the accumulator had 180% participation right here, uh, here we see it's 120%. But again, that's to be expected for a protector type product. Um, when it comes to a protector type product, the two big questions become how little do I have to pay and how much is it going to cost? So we see here that Symmetra is able to maintain a very strong combination of competitive premium pricing while being able to still have that low cost of insurance. And uh, believe me, this is not cherry picked, an anomaly. Uh, again, what you're typically going to find in the industry is that Symmetra has some of the lowest cost of insurance. Um, so if they have a great combination here, uh, which becomes more important with this type of product. And uh, this here is the sweet spots uh, for the protector product. <clears throat> Obviously, this is going to work for other scenarios, but they feel that this is, these are the strengths, uh, which is ages 40 to 70, uh, non-smoker, and having a level death benefit of $1 million. Symetra also has a GUL, a guaranteed universal life product. This is that product for the client that tells you, hey, Rick, I do not care so much about the cash value. Uh, I just want to know that my family is going to get the death benefit. I, I want to know that it's guaranteed to be paid to my family. This is that product. Uh, because this GUL, it's not a rider. It's not an add-on. That's the way the product is built to be guaranteed. So uh, we're going to see that Symmetra is a leader in the GUL market, as well as a leader in the return of premium market, which becomes more important with this type of product. I'll explain why uh, in just a couple of slides. Uh, let's take a look at how competitive Symmetra is. Look at this. Every time you see the number one, that is Symmetra with the lowest premium pricing. If you see a two, that is Symmetra with the second lowest premium pricing and so on. So as we can see, they're very competitive. I also want to mention, this is not just the carriers within WFG. This is every single carrier in the industry that offers a GUL. So you can see that they're very competitive across the board. Here are some fat facts for the GUL. Uh, issue ages 18 to 80. The current interest rate is 3.5%. Uh, dare I say that that is the highest rate for a UL in the industry right now. Uh, the guaranteed minimum rate is 2%. It'll never pay less than 2%. That 2% is probably closer to other UL's tur or, uh, current rate, right? Um, so as I mentioned earlier, this is a product that as long as you make the premium payments as scheduled per the illustration, it will not lapse. It is guaranteed. So. Let's talk a little about the return of premium. Um, you know, these products, and not just with Symmetra, but anyone that offers a GUL, these products typically have very little or no cash value. So what happens if somebody is kind of planning on, on having some cash value down the road? Well, there's no cash value here, but if they have the foresight or if they have your advice, uh, they can add the rider on uh, so that at policy year 20, or policy year 25, they can give up the policy and in exchange receive 100% of the premiums that they paid into it 
paid back to them. So the cost of this rider is 3%. Uh, that's going to increase your premium by 3%, but let's think about that. Uh, if the premium increases by 3%, that's part of the premium. They're going to get that back. So essentially, they're just paying themselves an additional 3% they receive in the back end. So we see here that Symetra is truly a leader with the return premium market because, look, they are literally the only carrier in the industry that actually does pay 100% of the premium back at every stage. So everyone else says return a premium. They just forget to mention, um, you know, it's not 100% of it. So other carriers have guidelines, thresholds, where if the death benefit increases past a certain amount, you're going to get a percentage of your premium back. So Metro said, you know what, never mind the mumbo jumbo, here's 100%. That's pretty refreshing. They're, they are also the only carrier in the industry that by contract guarantees to remind the client that uh, they have this option available to them. Can you imagine if your client is paying that additional 3% every year and they forget about it or they miss the windows? So Symmetra will remind them, and they also are the only carrier with a 90-day window in which the client can make up their mind versus everyone else's 60-day window. So let's talk about some of the programs, starting with the Preferred Cancer Program. Unfortunately, there are over 14 million people a year diagnosed with cancer. The good thing is that there are more and more people surviving cancer. The, the survival rate increases every year. So Symmetra says, why punish those people if the, the cancer was detected early and did not spread? So follow my cursor here. I'm hovering. Uh, if your client had one of these seven cancers, breast, cervical, colon, prostate, skin, testicular, or thyroid, uh, and it was detected early and did not spread, they can get up to a preferred risk class. That's kind of a big deal because I can tell you every other carrier that I know of under those same circumstances is going to cap the client at standard. So here they're able to get up to preferred if it's uh, one of the seven cancers there that they had and just detected early uh, and did not spread. So, you know, with this coronavirus environment we're living in now, I'm sure it's common to hear from clients that uh, uh, they're saying, hey, I don't want a stranger coming to my house to take my blood and urine and measure me. Uh, let's hold off on the insurance. I don't want to do an APS. So to address that, to respond to that, Symmetra implemented intelligent underwriting a few weeks ago. This means that your clients up to age 50 can get up to $2 million of coverage no APS, no blood or urine. They have to be at least a standard risk class, uh, but we're going to consider everything from standard up to super preferred. If you have clients that are 51 to 60 years of age, they can still get 1 million, no APS, no blood or urine, and again, at least standard risk class. So this is definitely something that uh, we put together to be able to help you keep your business moving forward and not uh, take a hit or a blow from coronavirus. So here's another great program. It's called the External Term Conversion Program. I am going to show you a list of carriers on the next slide. If your client bought term insurance from one of those carriers within the last five years, uh, they can convert that term product over there to a permanent Symmetra product over here, no underwriting whatsoever. So, you know, let's take a look at this. Uh, I'll show you the slide in a minute, but let's take a look at some of the details here. So if they bought that term insurance within the last five years, uh, they can convert, no underwriting. The maximum issue age for the new Symmetra policy is age 65. They cannot be older than 65. Uh, we want to see that the term product has at least a standard risk class. We also want to see that uh, it was fully underwritten. So no uh, non-med or express underwriting, please. Uh, and they do not have to um, match the face amount. So if someone has a million-dollar term product, that does not mean they have to get a million dollars of permanent coverage. 
they can get anything up to a million. So they say, give me 500,000 or 300,000 or whatever. Are you ready for the list of carriers? Here we go. So um, I'll, just, I'll just help you out here. Uh, Trans America is on the list, Pacific Life, Nationwide, Western Reserve. So to recap, if your client bought term insurance from one of these carriers listed here within the last five years, they can convert that term product to a permanent product with Symmetra, no underwriting whatsoever. I want to mention you do not have to be the writing agent for that term product. Um, it could be an orphan product or orphan client. Speaking of terms, Symmetra has some of their own terms uh, available. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up because it always comes up. Uh, these term products do not have any living benefits. So that's, I think, something that uh, Transamerica uh, has, has cornered the market on within WFT. But let's take a look at some of the other information on the term products. The minimum face amount for the term is 250000 Uh They offer 10, 15, 20, and 30-year term. The minimum issue age for term is 20 years of age. So they have to be at least 20. And uh, we'll consider everything from standard smoker up to super preferred non-smoker. Uh, let's also take a look at some of the riders here that are available. Ironically, they do have a children's term rider, even though they don't insure children. Um, they do have an accelerated benefit rider, which means that you can, if the client has less than 12 months to live, they can access 75% of the death benefit up to a maximum of $500,000. And if a client buys the symmetric term, they have up to 10 years to convert no underwriting required. That's pretty strong. Uh, if they are age 60 or older, they have until age 70 to convert with no underwriting at all. Your timing is perfect because the Metro has just reduced their premium pricing on term twice in the last five months. Here's $250,000 death benefit for 10-year and 15-year term. You can see they've done some pretty strong reductions, 17%, 15%, 12%. It doesn't look like they did a lot here, but they actually did. I uh, have to update that because the uh, second uh, reduction did reduce premiums uh, in that sector. Uh, here is a $500,000 death benefit for 10-year and 15-year. Again, some great reductions. And again, they did reduce here, just not showing up here. Uh, with these reductions, what you are going to find is that Symmetra is typically in the top three for most consistently, uh, or actually I should say for most competitively priced term products. So let's take a look at how they stack up against the competition. Uh, here's the 10-year and 15-year. Um, in some cases, of course, you're going to see a slight difference. Uh, in other cases, a substantial difference. Uh, here also is a 20-year term, 30-year term for $7.5 million, $15 million. Again, slight differences all the way up to substantial differences. But, you know, that substantial difference, if you think about that uh, difference being paid for the next every year for the next 20 or 30 years, that can really add up. So the, uh, the Mary Joanna or Mary Jane or Reefer, whatever they're calling it these days, um, they've done a lot with their underwriting uh, guidelines. So if, if you see here, you have a client at least 26 years of age that is an occasional user, which means up to three times a month, they can get up to super preferred non-nicotine. That, that's pretty strong. Um, no pun intended, but uh, well, look down here. Uh, minimum age 26. Again, uh, you can use up to eight times a month and get preferred non-smoker. That's pretty good. Uh, minimum age. If you use over nine times a month, you can still get standard smoker. So do keep us in mind uh, for your clients that use marijuana recreationally, because as you can see here, uh, across the board. Uh, uh, they've done a lot with the underwriting guidelines. Uh, as a matter of fact, keep us in mind for other business as well. I mean, um, if you have cases that you're working on that require some advanced planning, absolutely let us know how we can help because we have great resources to help with business planning, trust planning, 
wealth transfer, premium finance, as I said, uh, definitely something that we would look forward to helping you with. So I mentioned the foreign national program. Uh, I would like to just do a recap on that, a quick one. Um, if you don't already know this, uh, you should know that the foreign national market is the number one large case opportunity market in our industry by far. Um, the products that are available for the program um, are everything I talked about except term. So basically the permanent products are available to the foreign national market, although I will tell you they're already working on making the term products available that should be available by the end of the year, sometime before the end of the year. These statistics are staggering. They tell us that every year foreign nationals buy up billions of dollars of U.S. real estate. The problem for them is that as they are buying up these billions of U.S. real estate, uh, they are creating a very harsh U.S. estate tax treatment for themselves. So this is your uh, opportunity to be able to approach those individuals. First of all, let them know, hey, you've got a problem with U.S. estate taxes, but then reassure them. Let them know, that's okay. I've got the solution. It's called life insurance. Let's talk. So who would qualify and benefit from this program? Well, there's really two individuals. There's the non-U.S. citizen that lives permanently in another country. They're a foreign national. There's also the non-U.S. citizen that lives permanently in the U.S. by way of a green card or some form of extended visa. Those are the two individuals that would benefit from this. Uh, what is required uh, to qualify for this program? I'm waiting for the slide to change. There we go. So what is required to qualify uh, for this program? Well, all we want to see is a visa or passport. <clears throat> we don't care about a Social Security number. Uh, we won't take it in by itself. All we want to see is a visa or passport. Uh, we do want to see that they have a minimum net worth of $2 million of assets under their name. Uh, those assets can be located anywhere in the world. We don't care where. Uh, as long as it's under their name. Uh, also, uh, and as long as it's at least two million, excuse me. Um, the way that you would verify that those two million are under your name uh, is up to the first three million of coverage, uh, you just need to complete a financial questionnaire. So it's just dated assets. We're essentially taking the word for it. Uh, over three million, then we want third-party verification, but that's not so tough either. Um, they can find a financial professional either here in the U.S. or in their own country to verify their assets, and it can be a single letter with the assets listed out saying, I have verified that these assets belong to so-and-so and that they are valued as stated, signature, one letter, letterhead, that's it, done. Um, we also do want to see that there are connections to the U.S. Uh, it could be uh, I own a business in the U.S., I have family in the U.S., I own a property in the U.S., but you know what? The Metro is doing something that no one else is doing, and I'll share that uh, with you in a slide, a couple of slides. Um, here's a look at the risk classes that are available. Uh, so someone can get up to super preferred if they are for, uh, from, for example, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Canada, Japan, Singapore, Israel. Obviously, this is a very small sampling of the countries. There's a lot more. But uh, they can get up to super preferred if they're from one of these countries or more. Uh, they can get up to preferred if they're from China, Mexico, Vietnam, Armenia. So I want to mention that uh, we know that with this environment that we have now, uh, there are some carriers that are tightening up, restricting their foreign national guidelines, or in some cases, altogether suspending that business. I want to stress to you and confirm that. Symmetra is still fully open for foreign national business. On top of that, we have done nothing to constrain or limit the guidelines. So they're, they're the same as they were. They're as convenient and lenient as they were before. Uh, we do want to see that the individual get a minimum $1 million uh, face amount. Uh, and here's a roundup. Um, here's a roundup of Symmetra's uh, advantages in this market. I mentioned earlier that we're doing things no one else is doing. Let's take a look at some. You, remember the chronic illness that I described to you? 
that is actually available to foreign nationals. That's a huge conversation. That is super rare. Uh, you know, there's next to no one is offering chronic illness to foreign nationals. So that's a great conversation right there. Um, Symmetra allows the use of limited power of attorney so that when the policy is issued, the client does not have to come back to the U.S. simply to accept the policy. They designate a U.S. citizen to be their limited power of attorney for that purpose, and they accept the policy on their behalf. Um, remember I was talking about um, connections to the U.S.? So Symmetra is the only carrier that I know of that will allow traveling to the U.S. for business or pleasure to be a connection. That makes it so convenient. You may come across someone that says, I don't own any property. I don't have family in the U.S. I, you know, this, but I do get out to Disneyland every once in a while. You're in. That's a connection. Um, Symmetra is also the only carrier that I know of that does not require the foreign national to establish a U.S. bank account for at least three months or usually it's six months. Um, they don't require the clients to establish a, a bank account at all. So if they want to wire the money from their country, all they got to do is find a bank of U.S. origin in their country. So, for example, you have a client in China. All they got to do is find um, a Chase Bank, a Citibank, or a Bank of America in China to wire the money directly to Symmetra's account. And that way they don't have to establish a U.S. bank account. Symmetra offers coverage to Japanese nationals. This is a huge market, and this is about as rare as a living dodo bird. Um, I, I can't think of any other carriers that offer to Japanese nationals. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is probably because they are owned by Sumitomo Life. Um, here's another big um, advantage. Symmetra will consider a foreign national client just for loss of income. Let me explain. If you bump into a foreign national, let's say, and you say, ooh, a foreign national, I'm going to talk to them about U.S. estate taxes. And they cut you off and they say, well, Rick, uh, that's, for, U.S. estate taxes do not concern me because I do not own any assets in the U.S. But what does concern me is that in my own country, if I pass away, uh, my family stops receiving my paycheck. Will you consider me? for uh, loss of income in my own country, even though I do not own anything in the U.S. Yes, we will. That's a huge market right there in itself. So I'm wrapping up. I'm winding down. Just a few things to keep in mind. Uh, when you send the application, and do not send it directly to Symmetra. Send it directly to AMS Financial Solutions, the group that I'm with. Uh, you can fax it or email it. What we're going to do for you is, uh, is review it and make sure that it's in perfect order so that when we submit it to Symmetra, it's smooth sailing. I mentioned at the beginning that we are a broker with uh, WFG, uh, but I want to stress that we have no connection or association to Crump. So, I mean, we're a separate, different broker. Uh, so if you want to do business with Symmetra, what you should do is go to your WFG site, go to the preferred provider section, look for AMS Financial Symmetra, download the appointment request form, fill it out, and submit it to, directly to WFG. So uh, do not send that uh, directly to Symmetra. So at this point, uh, I would just like to, the last, thing, the last thing to share with you is this website right here. You see this? www.amsfsd.com forward slash WFD. That is your website. We built that for you. You can feel free to visit there and check out the different companies and products and programs and access marketing materials, um, you know, the different products that we're bringing to the WFD platform. So, uh, and over to the left is my contact information. I'm going to say always, always feel free to reach out to me and let me know how I can help you. And that includes illustration, product design, product questions, uh, client meetings, um, sales ideas, everything to do with sales and marketing. Once you submit the case, then you can deal with our, our crack team, our, our, of experts 
in the back office to help you with the new business and underwriting process. So um, that's about it. I know that I've shared a lot of information with you. And uh, unfortunately, because of this uh, setup with the with the WebEx, I, I do not believe that um, that you can uh, that I can hear you. I mean, if anyone wants to speak up, if you dialed in and have a question um, at this point, feel free to ask. Uh, but um, otherwise, I believe that if you're using computer audio, you may not have the capability to to uh, to be heard. But uh, as I said, that's why with my contact info to the left, always feel free to reach out and let me know what questions you do have. Uh, so with that, what I'd like to do at this point is thank Steve uh, for allowing me the opportunity to be a part of your day and be able to share this information. Uh, I hope that you found this to be useful um, and you know something that you can run with right off the bat. I've already seen these products and programs become opportunity makers for WFG, so I'm, I'm certain of that. Um, again, thank you so much for your time, for your attention. Always feel free to let me know how I can help you, and have a great Friday and weekend. Thank you.